Hi, if you are looking for the answer to this question, why to automate software testing, then please watch my today's presentation. Friends, we keep on getting this question on regular basis from testers that why to automate software testing. So let's go and figure it out in my today's presentation, why to automate software testing. Hello friends, welcome to my channel Q Analysis and uh, I request you to please like, share and subscribe my videos and to my channel if in case you are looking for more videos on quality analysis and software testing, feel free to subscribe, like and share my channel. So here we go. Let's move on to our today's presentation and try to find out the answer to our question why to automate software testing. Now, test automation, automated testing, software test uh, automation, automation testing, automated testing, automation scripting, automation in testing. These are the few different kind of terms and terminology which are very common whenever we talk about automation in testing or test automation. So all of these, I, I, as per me, all of these are same. And I'll describe here what exactly these all terms mean. They all point to the same thing, which is like designing of test automation framework, analyzing what exactly you want to achieve and how you want to achieve, reviewing your process, reviewing your framework, creating a POC and then using version control or using what kind of automation script you want to use, your code, keeping it safe, automating the test cases, and finally going for the script, uh, scripting. And once you have the script in place, then you go ahead and deploy. And finally, you have the automation solution ready, which will change or which will transform manual or functional test cases into automation test cases. This is known as test automation. And these are the seven different phases, different steps which are involved in test automation. There are certain other things like knowledge transfer, system integration, coding, configuration, timelines and brainstorming, DevOps and continuous integration. These are the different kind of things which are also very important when you talk about test automation. But I'll cover them in a separate video, not here today. Today we are going to talk about test automation and see where test automation is fitting as the best solution for software testing. Okay friends, so these are the seven steps, design analysis, review, uh, source safe, test case, automation and deployment. These are the seven very important phases which every tester has to do whenever he wants to do test automation. Now moving on to our answer let's move on to the first point and see why test automation is necessary and why it is a solution to testing automation eliminates repetitiveness yes friends as a part of testing we do certain kind of action we do perform certain kind of steps or test actions which are repetitive for example if you have to you have to do a boundary value analysis or let's say you have to do a boundary value testing wherein you have to verify different different values so same test cases has to be repeated again and again again and again now this is repetitiveness this is a perfect candidate for automation using automation a bot or a script can go ahead and do the same kind of testing with different permutation and combination and it eliminates the repetitiveness so any action or process which is repetitiveness which involves repetitiveness is a perfect candidate for automation so using automation testing you can eliminate all those test steps and actions and process which are repetitive and hence automation becomes a very good candidate for all those repetitive steps and process so this is my first point which ensures that wherever a functional or performance, security or whatever testing, it is there and we have repetitiveness. It can be eliminated via automation. So automation eliminates all those repetitive steps and processes in testing. My second point is here it comes. So moving on to the second point, which is yeah, automation saves time, effort and money. 
Yes, friends. The main idea behind automation, if you see history, you'll figure out the main idea behind automation was to do things in a faster way. Time is money. In today's IT world, time is money. Time is actually related to the effort. And whatever effort is being spent is the cost which is incurred as a part of developing that software. Time to market is the most important parameter made with customers, made with business users, made with developers or testers. Everybody is concerned about time to market. And time is money. Your time is actually proportional to the effort and inversely proportional money. If you spend more time, you'll earn less money. It's, it's like inversely proportional. And time and effort are directly proportional to your uh, time and uh, efforts are directly proportional. So here I'll show you one of the graphs which will explain you the automation versus time, effort and money. You see uh, the cost versus output. The initial effort for automation is pretty high in terms of when you compare it using manual manual execution but once that part is over once that curve is over the uh, automation effort marginal cost or scripting cost is much less than what is the cost for manual execution so friends automation saves a lot of time effort and money and hence automation is a perfect candidate if you want to grow if you want to grow your business if you want to grow your testing practice if you want to spend less amount of time and save more and more of effort then yes automation is a very nice candidate provided you have to invest initially for the scripting and for the other configuration buying of the tool and training of the people these are the some costs which are involved so automation initially is costly but later on in due course of time when you execute when you use automation uh, for longer time test automation is pretty cheaper and it it balances out the initial expenditure that has been made. So cost versus output graph, which you see over here, it explains you the complete concept. Moving on to our third point, I'll explain here the third point, which will showcase how automation is a good testing solution. So here comes our third point, which is automation increases the test coverage yes friends automation results into increased test coverage now let's see with an example how it happens whenever there is a testing concept a testing assignment initially uh, you have certain level of coverage and then using manual execution you cover it and then you try to open come up with the automation framework which is very basic in nature and then with continuous process and organizational improvement and working on the framework and with your more skilled testers you slowly start uh, to grow and then your initial coverage moves from red zone to green zone so your coverage starts increasing you expand your coverage framework enhancement take place and then slowly iteration one or phase one phase two phase three so in different different phases your initial coverage your uh, your coverage expansion it increases and framework enhancement they take place and because of continuous process and organizational improvement plus technical enhancement your coverage is increased so whatever five testers can do they can spend their more time on some system testing on functional changes whereas if you have same repetitive process same regression testing or same performance testing to be done which initially was being done using manual testers now it can be covered using automation and there are so many permutation and combination which when manual testers when they try to do it will take a lot of time but all these test cases can be covered as a part of automation testing scope so expansion of coverage takes place when you start using manual and automation together and slowly with the with increasing of the coverage and expanding the coverage towards the automation side you can have a very high coverage for your test automation now we are moving to our fourth point and with this fourth point we'll see how test automation is a very good solution for testing services so here comes our fourth point which is Automation is good for regression. Yes, testers and yes, my friends, automation is a very good candidate for regression testing. When I say regression testing, people, they do automation 
for system testing and integration testing but when you do it for system testing and integration integration testing at that time the system is very unstable so your automation framework and your automation code requires a lot of maintenance which is very costly so most of the time automation uh, is done in form of test driven development i have created a separate uh, video for that you can find the link in description regarding test driven development so when the system is unstable in initial stages when you do the system testing and integration that point of time automation is done using developer with the help of developers but that is not a very good candidate i won't say that is a very good candidate for testers to do testers when they are willing to perform automation testing they should take a stable system yes once you are you are done with system integration testing and you have a stable system with you and you have set of test cases with you which were earlier executed using manual execution now they can be executed very well in a very less span of time if you have a regression pack which is fully automated yes friend so a stable system is a very good candidate for regression testing using automation automation can help in saving the effort cost and time for regression testing and especially when it is done for stable systems so it is very helpful for organization to cut on their effort and cut down their cost when they do regression testing using automation for stable systems yes and you can find more uh, videos related to this topic regarding continuous integration and regarding regression testing and regarding functional testing and automation strategy how to test in agile how to test in traditional model what are the differences all of this you can see in different different videos which i have prepared and uh, they are accessible you can you find them in the description you can find the links in the description for all those videos please feel free to watch those videos now moving on to our fifth point this is our fifth point and this is the last one wherein i'll discuss why automation testing is so important automation is equal to continuous testing yes friends automation testing is equal to continuous testing if you want to deliver on continuous basis you need to have automation testing in your system in your project for example for example source control uh, build testing and deployment these are the very basic and very important features which is used and uh, as i said as a part of test driven development or the, uh, most of the agile system you see whenever there is a push or commit in the source control it initiate the continuous integration proper process wherein a build is been made and that build is been tested and if at all there is any issue that is reported and again this process is repeated and depending on this you can see how the continuous integration and continuous testing takes place code uh, code is developed built and then it is continuously tested on continuous basis and then it is released deployed operate and then monitored again it is planned and then coded built and it is a iterative manner this is what is done as a part of continuous testing a very good example is test driven development thank you friends through this video i told you why automation is a very good solution for testing it takes a lot of effort for making such kind of videos thanks for watching and please feel free to like share and subscribe my videos thank you friends thanks for your support